There's a legacy of giving that comes with the name of Jewish Family Services. We help people in a pinch who are in crisis because they're short on their rent or... Filling needs. They need a prescription they can't afford. Hasn't changed since they started. The Ellen Silver... First year being the... The executive director at Jewish Family Services says their organization name has the Hebrew Benevolent Society... Jewish Relief Society, modeled after the LDS Relief Society. The Ladies Hebrew Benevolent Society. Jewish Benevolent Society and then Jewish Family Service in the 60s. Their program has been around for more than a century. I think it was established even before statehood. Just a refresher for you, statehood was 1896. And even though they were organized before then, Ellen says they don't know the exact date. I think our stuff goes back to the 1920s, the whatever records we have. I want to congratulate you on your 150th anniversary. Wait a second, hit pause for a moment here. If we don't have the records of their organization date, is this really their anniversary? That's where Rochelle Kaplan comes in. Rochelle has studied Utah's Jewish history for nearly two decades. First I did my own family, then I did my husband's family, and then I said, oh gee, I'm gonna check out the Jewish history of Utah. She helped found the Jewish Genealogical Society. 1865. And it says there are in Salt Lake 20 Jewish young men. And after about an hour of going through online newspaper archives, we came across this article. Rochelle found what we were looking for. On November 24th of 1865. And it says Salt Lake City, Utah Territory. At a meeting of the Israelites in the, of this city and vicinity, held on Sunday the 15th, the first Hebrew Benevolent Society of Great Salt Lake City was duly organized. Originally, we were told women started Jewish Family Services, modeled after the Latter-day Saint Relief Society. Rochelle and I learned the organization was first created by men, but in 1872, their wives and other women took over, renaming the Hebrew Benevolent Society to the Ladies Hebrew Benevolent Society. And that's where we get this. I want to congratulate you on your 150th anniversary. Anniversary year. They were civilly minded, they were benevolent, they were hardworking. They tried to stay as true as they could to their faith. Articles show their society raised money for a local cemetery, even sending $400 to their brethren of Western Russia. This is 1944. We provided funds for needed medicine, clothes, care. These services continue 157 years later. We're all very committed to the work we do and meeting the needs in the community. With plans to continue the legacy of giving that comes with their name. We call ourselves small but mighty.